which magnesium is best? I get so many questions as to all the different types of magnesium. I'm gonna break them all down for you. So let's start with my least favorite. Now, number 10 on the list is magnesium stearate. Now, magnesium stearate is not a magnesium supplement, yet I want you to check all of your supplements and your vitamins to make sure that it does not contain magnesium stearate, which is a flow agent that they use in the manufacturing process to make things move more quickly on machinery. Now, unfortunately, magnesium stearate has never been tested for safety in long-term human consumption. It's something that you should not be ingesting, so please check all of your vitamin bottles for that magnesium stearate. It shouldn't be in there. Okay, number nine on the list is magnesium oxide. Now, magnesium oxide has poor absorption. It only has about 4% bioavailability. It can cause joint pains in some people, and it can pull calcium out of your bones. It's also a strong laxative if you take it at too high a dose. Just so, again, not my favorite. Let's look at number eight now on the list, magnesium malate, which can cause nausea, can cause diarrhea and stomach cramps. It does help to make some energy, and it can be helpful for fibromyalgia patients, people who have chronic fatigue, and heavy metal detoxification, it can be one of those things that you, is used to chelate out those heavy metals. It can be overstimulating though, so you don't want to definitely take magnesium malate closer to bedtime because it can keep you up at night. Okay, number seven on the list is orotate. So magnesium orotate supplements can cause allergic reactions for people that are sensitive. Again, not one of my favorites, but my favorite is coming, so stay tuned. It's coming up very soon. Okay, number six on the list is magnesium taurate. Now, this can actually cause anxiety and depression in people taking this form of magnesium. So it can decrease cortisol levels a little bit too much, and it has been shown to be helpful with cataracts. However, I don't think those benefits will outweigh some of those negative side effects. Okay, number five on the list, magnesium sulfate. Now, this is something that's usually used topically. It's not usually something that's ingested. Epsom salts are a form of magnesium sulfate. So it's great to soak in an Epsom salt bath, helps to detoxify, but this, again, is not something that you are ingesting. Okay, number four on the list is magnesium chloride. Again, it's usually used topically for muscle sprains and strains and muscle aches. It's usually in a cream or a spray, something that is used on your skin. Number three on the list is magnesium citrate. So one of the most commonly used types of magnesium, it tastes very sour. You usually have to mix it in some water. And although it can help with constipation, if you take too high a dosage, it will cause diarrhea and it pulls water into the bowels and that's why it helps with that constipation. Again, not my favorite type. Okay, number two is L3 and 8. This type of magnesium usually causes headaches. Now, one of the reasons that it's used is that it does cross the blood-brain barrier. However, it does have low bioavailability. So the, you know, ability for your body to actually utilize this type of magnesium is not the best. It can help with your memory, but you have to take it at higher dosages which again can cause those headaches. And number one is my favorite, of course, magnesium bisglycinate. So it's bound to glycine, which is an amino acid. It helps with that proper absorption and studies have shown that it has a superior absorption over the other types of magnesium. It's very calming to the nervous system. It does help with sleep. It can help with cramping because it's a muscle relaxant as well. Helps with breast pain, helps with cravings for especially the wrong foods, carbs and things. And it helps with your metabolism of your carbs, your fats, and your proteins. Now, magnesium is something that ideally you're taking in the morning. So M, M, magnesium in the morning. I do have other information and videos on that. So please check out my other videos. When is the best time to take magnesium? I'll see you there.